Right, hello and good evening. Uh, this can be a relatively short video just to give you a quick update on the uh, whole British GT situation. That's the one thing I've not been able to update you on so far this year. Um, so uh, we've just had the media day um, 10 days ago now. Um, so the beginning of the season is coming up very quick. Um, and unfortunately, it's, it's bad news, really. Um, what has been promised to me over the winter, the companies that I've been speaking to that I've been looking to uh, create a partnership with um, to create a supercar event at the British GT Championship rounds throughout the year. Uh, mainly focused around the British GT event at Spa, the flyaway round as it were. Um, yeah, it's not come together. People have promised, um, but then when it's come to deadline day, when it's come to decision day, putting pen to paper day, uh, unfortunately they have uh, bailed on me, uh, which leaves me with a very large gap to fill. Um, I've tried crowdfunding, of which we got off to a fantastic start in the first 24 hours, raising almost seven and a half um, to eight thousand pounds. Um, but again, that has just fallen short in the very short amount of time that we have to start the season. Um, I was very lucky that Nathan from Century uh, Motorsport let me have a run in the brand new um, BMW M4, which is being campaigned in the championship. Uh, fantastic car. Um, the news is already out that Ben Green and Ben Tuck are already confirmed for that car, which is fantastic news. Both very... Um, very impressive drivers that have bright futures ahead of them um yeah it's a shame not to be with them because uh those two boys would definitely be pushing me along pace wise um and i think the car seeing that the car um was fastest at the british GD, gt media day uh, shows that the car has potential and has pace but however yeah it it wasn't to be so unfortunately we have had to call that one with nathan um and my co-driver that i was speaking to uh, and we'll start to look at plan B effectively so um, yeah it's a, it's a massive shame because I feel this is a massive opportunity as much as I've done with Ginettas in the past there's only so much you can do with them and I have done with them I believe um, so it's nice to branch out from one manufacturer to such an established manufacturer such as BMW uh, and with their return to the British GT Championship we had some uh, some cool ideas planned um, both on and off track so yeah big shame uh, absolutely gutted it feels like the rug has been foot pulled out underneath my feet uh, and it's kind of all out of your hands really you're always at the mercy of someone else so so yeah we'll go back to the drawing board and um see what we can rustle up for this year um, fortunately Imma is still on the cards for the Masters series so I'm looking forward to doing that in a few weeks time um, in the Chevron but as uh, for career wise and things like that as for British GT wise I don't see that happening um, at all so that is a shame I'll still be at the British GT meetings coaching for want to race that's still together which is nice so I'll still be in the paddock so it's always good to mix and mingle with people but uh, unfortunately not behind the wheel in anger so um, yeah we won't give up we'll see what we can muster from this year um, and we had a fantastic year last year so we're going to really take that momentum forward into it so yeah that's the unfortunate update that is the realities of racing is a is an expensive game and someone like myself it's um it's not down to me, it's down to other people uh, whether I get on the grid or not. So, um, yeah, signing out from from this vlog. But do stay tuned for, for more on-track antics coming uh, for the rest of the year regardless. So, yeah, please uh, stay tuned for that. So make sure you like and subscribe uh, some more exciting videos than this one uh, and for a lot more exciting videos to come as well. Ciao, ciao.